Hey, what is up guys? I'm back, Primal Guy here, and now we're gonna take a look at Bandai's high-grade build fighters, Lightning Zeta Gundam. And the review is coming right up. Taking a look at this model kit, you will see that this is from the anime Gundam Build Fighters Cry, and this is from the character of Yuma, which he uses to enter the Majin Cup Open Course Finals way back at the end of the anime, and it's represented quite well in, in its plastic form. You can see all the details are pretty crisp, sharp, and there are fine panel lines all over this model kit. In terms of seam lines, there are almost none to that extent that I can that I can find obtrusive although it's subjective enough if you find panel lines in the small kit that is obtrusive anyway to the possibility the head is on a ball joint so it can go any directions the arms can go that it's on a swivel joint on the shoulder and there's a flap that opens up so you can accommodate that pose Arms will bend that much, which is pretty good. The waist, which are also good articulation, which can bend forward and back. Those pistons are just for show, uh, disappointingly. And then on the legs, you can do the splits up that far. Knees can bend quite well. And the feet are on ball joints. Taking a look at the backpack, you can see that there, there's only stuck together by ball joints so it can go pretty much any direction as long as the ball joints don't hinder all the other pieces of plastic there are also hinge wings here and also this part overall the build on the lightning zeta gundam is really really fantastic i can see no fault of you getting this model kit because it's really an awesome awesome representation the only sad part about this is that it does not transform unfortunately so the fact that the zeta series are quite famous for their transformation for these not to be able to transform is kind of a downer but eh, high grades what are you gonna do for accessories it comes with its beam rifle which is only in single shade of gray plastic and putting it in the hands is quite easy just take off the hands and just put it encasing it in the hand encasing it in the hand and then putting it back into lightning zeta overall the implementation of the beam weapon is good i can see him doing a lot of neat and cool poses with this and overall it's really great the next up the next weapon that we have is this it's shield and it's quite detailed it comp and it composed of two plastic and the gray part that which will that which attaches on the zeta's arm like so that attaches on the zeta's arm like so as I put on the piece of plastic that just fall off and it's quite good you can do a lot of neat poses with this guy and also as far as new high grades are concerned they come in with this standard plug which can use a Bandai Tamashi X stand and just put it in a peg and you can do a lot of poses flying poses action poses any kind of poses with this guy like I said, sadly there are no transformation gimmicks here, but you're only bound to your imagination at this point. And the last you know, accessories here come in the part of these beam effects. And what you can do is just take off two backpack pieces right here. There's a little transformation here which you can just fold off and then push the wings up and then just attach those beam effects. Just repeat it on the second wing and then just attach it again 
there are points here like I did in the shield or you just slide this off piece right here and then like so attach it to the Gundam and you can do some melee attacks with this guy but the effect is well kind of up to your imagination at this point right now the last part of this is that you're gonna get up the shield here and just put it down like so and then just place it on the hand place it on the hand right there and then just finagle your way through and you can make out his attack on the final scene of the anime just push out the wing and you can make that attack sadly there are no beam effect parts to accommodate this attack but overall it's really good also the great part about the great thing about this small kit is that you can use those open slots right here to attach the weapons for weapon storage just do all this and then just attach it like so overall it's a neat implementation I kind of like it everything is stored in the Gundam and you don't have loose parts of plastic hanging around or just laying in the box somewhere overall I kind of dig it and this is the review on the hydrate build fighters lightning zeta gundam i hope you like it stay tuned hit that like button and as always i will see you on the next video